today we are finding out how many legends it would take for Team Japan to win a Stanley Cup. Every season we do not win a Stanley Cup, we're going to spin this wheel at the end of it. It has the top 20 legends in the game. Like I said, we're just going to keep going until we finally win the Cup. Of course, we have to sim one season without any help from legends. And we would go 81 losses, a 1 in 81. The team we beat, of course, it had to be the Chicago Blackhawks. Who else was it going to be? The most goals on our team was Wakabayashi with 19. So no 20 goal scorers. I know it was so shocking. And our point leader was also Wakabayashi with 32. We just tortured this man. We played him for 70 games. And he, I mean, he got the win after 70, but he had to take 60 losses, a 6.57 goals against average, and an 8.72 save percentage. Calgary Flames are your Stanley Cup champions after beating the New Jersey Devils in six games in the finals. Does mean we get our first wheel spin. Who is the first legend we are going to be adding to the team? It's going to be Joe Sackett. Joe Sackett kind of helping out the team, but uh, we still only had nine wins. 67 losses and six overtime slash shootout losses but it's an improvement eight more wins even playing with two absolute nobodies on his side joe sakic would put up 42 goals and 77 points and i'm also going to show the stanley cup winners every single time just so we can see who's stealing our dreams it's the toronto maple leafs this time around beating colorado in six games in the finals wheel spin number two the next addition to our team is going to be armir yager yes sir big fan of that well, I'd love to say that adding Yarmir Yager improved our team, but instead it did the exact opposite. Three wins in 82 games. We earned seven total points. Second last place was Montreal with 70 points. I feel like SpongeBob right now when he needed 600 points to pass and he only got six. Not only that, Sakic had way less goals. He only scored 30. He led our team in points once again with 77. Yager... 72 points, 25 goals, and EA really wants Toronto to win the 2023-2024 Cup. I mean, so do I, but back-to-back -back Stanley Cup wins and Sims for them, beating Dallas this time in five games in the finals. Wheel spin number three, our third legend added to the team is Howie Morenz. I a fool for thinking that every time we added a legend, I thought we were going to get better and better and not worse and worse. I mean, obviously the first year was the worst one, but with three legends, we earned six total points. We had two wins. Two overtime slash shootout losses, 78 regular losses. Joe Sakic, 87 points. Yager, 82 points. Marin, 71 points. All of them scoring at least 20 goals. 30 for Yager was the most. This time around, we got the Vegas Golden Knights winning in seven games, beating the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, we need a goalie. Let's be honest. Not even Gretzky, not even Lemieux. We need a goalie. And we're going to get one off of Patrick Waugh, but Gordie Howe, third best legend in the game. I will take that. This is just a tough scene out here right now. Not a personal best. Once again, only getting four wins this time. We had 10 points. And obviously, last place in the NHL. Who would have thought it? On the bright side, some variety. Yarmir Yager is our point leader for the first time ever. 89 points. Sackick letting goals with 37. The New York Rangers winning this time, beating Dallas in the finals in seven games. Maybe we'll make the playoffs in 10 years and then win the cup in another five. That might be me being a little too optimistic at this point, though. Gordy Howe, last legend added. This time, we're adding Paul Coffey. It is a defenseman, it's a star, but we really need goaltending, like bad, bad. We still can't even surpass that seven win mark. Five legends, we had five wins, 14 points. Hey, on the bright side, Joe Sackick did almost hit 100 points. He had 93. And Gordie Howe would end up leading our team in goals with 34. We got the Boston Bruins capturing the Stanley Cup after beating Winnipeg in five games in the finals. And that means it's wheel spin time. We need Patrick Waugh or we need Martin Brodeur. And we're gonna get Patrick Waugh. Let's go. Yeah, I love to see it. The fact that I'm actually more excited about getting him than Gretzky or Lemieux right now, because we need a goalie. Like, need, 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 need. Now, this is what I call progress. 22 wins with six legends. We had 50 points. We are barely last place. I mean, still by 18 points. But in comparison, we were pretty close. We're coming for that 31st spot, Anaheim. You better be ready. Maybe Howie Marenz popping off with 44 goals to lead the team and 89 points to also lead the team. Of course, we have to look at Patrick Waugh. 21 wins. The backup managed to get one win on his own. 916 save percentage and a 3.49 goals against average. The Rangers grabbing another Stanley Cup after beating Dallas in seven games in the finals. I feel like we can actually make a run now. Now, if we get Gretzky or Lemieux, I'm popping off. We're going to get Chris Chelios. I just realized I did not set the wheel up so that the people removed. So I'm going to have to remove them myself right now, actually. The fact we didn't even get a duplicate is crazy. Now up to seven legends. We had 27 wins. Still in last place, but we have a full defensive pairing starting goalie. Obviously, 
decent amount of forwards. We're building a team right now. Y'all are leading the team in points with 97, while Sackick had the most goals with 35. And we have an Edmonton Oilers Stanley Cup win as they beat Boston in seven games in the finals. I really like a Gretzky or Lemieux now. I'm just saying, now I'm getting greedy. We are going to not get Lemieux. We're one off. But we are getting Maurice Richard. I'll take that as well. Hey, look, we finally did it. Eight legends in. We're not in last place. We finished in 29th with 35 wins, earning 73 points. And the first team to be in last place, and we're not, Chicago. Makes sense, considering they're the only team that actually lost to the actual team, Japan. We got Joe Sackick with 95 points to lead our team. While it would be Maurice Richard, newly acquired leading our team in goals with 38. The Colorado Avalanche are taking the Stanley Cup this year with a 4-3 series win in the finals against the Washington Capitals. And now that our wheel's working properly, Maurice Richard will no longer be on it and we're going to be getting Marc Messier. With nine legends, we're still stuck in 29th place. We'd have 75 points with 31 wins. I saw that Chicago finished in last place again. 91 points for Gordie Howe led our team and it would be Richard. And Morenz leading our team in goals with 33. It would be the LA Kings sweeping the New York Rangers in the finals to lift the Stanley Cup. I'd say we're a couple years away from starting to get some playoff runs in us. And Wayne Gretzky would help a lot, but it's going to go over the edge and land on Chris Pronger. After landing 10 NHL legends to Team Japan, they would finally make the playoffs with 43 wins, earning 93 points. They finished 15th in the entire league. We're at the halfway point of how many we could add. We're already in the playoffs, so I have, I have hope we'll win in five more years max, which is still pretty sad because the whole team would basically be legends at that point. 97 points for Sakic and Yager to lead our team, and 42 goals will lead our team, and it'd be Joe Sakic with those numbers. Take another look at Patrick Waugh since we finally made the playoffs, a 914 save percentage and a 2.95 goals against average. He won 39 games. He played 73. And we get the joy of playing against Colorado in our first playoff series. Can't say anyone's too surprised. I know I'm not. We would lose in six games. And just like that, we're already eliminated. But hey, at least we got there. This is where the fun begins, though, because we should make the playoffs every year. Now, Boston wins the Stanley Cup this time around, beating Vegas in five games in the finals. If we could add a Gretzky or a Lemieux, we're definitely there every year. And it's going to be Phil Esposito, newly added to the game, Phil Esposito. Maybe I got a little bit too confident. We would not make the playoffs with 11 legends on the team. 33 wins and 76 points total. We finished 25th. And Joe Sackick led our team in points with 96, while Maurice Richard led our team in goals with 45. The New York Rangers are capturing the Stanley Cup again after beating Edmonton in six games in the finals. I'm not saying anything this time. Nothing specific. Just give me whatever player your heart desires. Thank you. That's what you get. When I don't beg, I get what I want. Mario Lemieux is joining the team. All us John Cena, because our time is now first in the NHL with the addition of Mario Lemieux. We have 12 legends total, 56 wins and 118 points. We had Gretzky. It's definitely game over 117 points for Lemieux, also scoring 58 goals. Leading our team in both categories, the first player to hit 100 points and 50 goals. First round opponents are the St. Louis Blues. And we were able to beat them in five games to move on to the second round where we face the Winnipeg Jets, but we're already down two to nothing. We would mount the comeback, and now we are in the conference finals. We would beat Winnipeg in six games. We're facing Colorado, who was the team to eliminate us in our first playoff run. But this time we slay Colorado, which means we're going to the Stanley Cup finals. We beat them in six games. The Toronto Maple Leafs are our Stanley Cup finals opponents, which does not bold well for us. The series tied 2-2, two two, simming game five. It is a win. We are one win away. Talk to me. We have done it. 12 legends. Not even a Wayne Gretzky in sight, but with 12 legends, Team Japan has captured the Stanley Cup after beating Toronto in six games in the finals. Full look at the playoff tree. Obviously, never in danger of being eliminated. It looked scary in the second round against Winnipeg because we were down 2 nothing, but then we won four in a row. We're looking at playoff stats, Mario Lemieux, 30 points to lead our team, as well as leading our team in goals with 15, but that's probably not too surprising. And Patrick Waugh, 915 save percentage and a 2.89 goals against average, obviously getting all 16 wins. Now look at awards, Mario Lemieux is regular season MVP. Charlie McAvoy would win the James Norris Trophy. Con Smythe, obviously going to Lemieux. Patrick Waugh would win the Vesna. Well, Tristan Jari would win the William M. Jennings Trophy. That is going to be it for me today. 12 legends in NHL 24. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.